give all the credit to Oregon. You know, they did a great job, but when you're playing a team of their caliber and you hand it to them on a silver platter, you know, it, it, it doesn't help your cause. I mean, our kids did a great job of fighting back. We're in a position in the fourth quarter where we've got a guy running open for a touchdown. We overthrow him, come back the next play. And instead of being a 12-point game, it, it jumps up to a 26-point game difference. And, you know, we turnovers. We work it every day. We talk about it every day. We, we, we do a circuit drill every day to protect the football. And we come out here and we, we give up two touchdowns. Now, you didn't just give up a fumble and they recovered. You give up in your first series a interception return for a touchdown. Then you fumble the ball for a touchdown. You know, and you, 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 those 14 points is a huge swing. And the fourth quarter, you're battling uphill as it is. You know, you, you've got to be able to take care of the football. And so until we start doing that, uh, you know, we, we'll, we'll, we'll find it hard to come in and win games like this. You know, the, the, our expectation was to win the football game. And I think that, uh, you know, again, Oregon's got great talent, great program, but our kids are, are talented too. And, you know, you, we the big difference is, the, you know, all the turnovers. So that's what I'll start. Coach, was that just worst-case scenario for you to come out and throw that, have that pick six on the opening series? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's never – we don't ever plan that. It's not the best-case scenario. But what happens is, you know, you start yourself in a hole. You know, it's tough enough. You know, when you're when you're playing on the road and you're playing in a hostile environment, you're against a team that played for the national championship. You know, but our again, you know, our expectation is to come out and perform to win. And it's it's hard when you start off spot them. It's basically giving them seven seven to nothing uh, head start. So yeah, it makes it uphill battle the rest of the way, and you're playing catch up from there on. And it's very difficult to play catch up with the offense the way you know they they control the ball and and able to eat up the clock and move it and, and up-tempo you. Could you talk a little bit about what the team was able to do successfully? It seems like the quarterback was able to make a lot of completions, and there was a, I felt like I saw a lot of nice tackling out there. Um, so what, what do you take away that's positive? Oh, I take a lot positive. I mean, our, when, we, when we execute, we, we belong with anybody. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are. I mean, when we execute, we've got ability. We have talent. And uh, that always hasn't been our case. So that, that problem has been fixed. And, we just have to put it all together. Our kids do a good job of tackling. You know, we'll, we'll miss some sometimes. Some of that is because of the kids you're trying to tackle. That kid's on scholarship too and pretty doggone good. You know, but our kids did a good job. I thought our defense, I mean, it's hard to sit here and say, you know, your defense did a decent job, but 61 points, you know, it makes you, you cringe. But then when you look at the position that they were put in by the offense, you know, I think the first three touchdowns, maybe four, all came on a very, very short field. You know, so you know, no one's without it, blame or error. You know, I mean, we we've all did things today that we, you know, we wish we'd have did better. But uh, there are a lot of positives, and then the the way you saw our offense when they clicked, you know, our offense can go, and they can move the ball and throw it around, and we got you know a little bit of you know we didn't run for like we did last weekend, but we we you know we've got some spurts there where we were able to pop some runs, but you know we put ourselves in a position to be within striking distance in the fourth quarter on a team that played for the national championship. And I, it, that it says a lot about the kids. Instead of the, the cave and give in and, you know what I'm saying, they, they fought back and they never quit believing. And, you know, it just comes down to, you know, we, we do a self-inflicted things sometimes when it comes to taking care of the football and, and uh, you know, they gave her and giving up a big play or a big run on defense. Do you, were, you pretty, were you surprised by anything you saw from Morgan, or was it pretty much like you saw on tape? Uh, um... Yeah, I wasn't surprised about anything. I mean, you know, they, they, I don't think that they probably felt they needed to surprise us. You know, they've got a really good system, a really good offense, and they're not going to make up a new one for anybody. You know, so I, I, it's what I thought it was. They were, they were, some of them linemen were a lot longer or taller than I thought they'd be when I first saw them. But, you know, they were, you know, they, they've got, a, I hope the back is healthy. You know, I didn't see much in the second half. I don't think he came in the second half. I hope he's not hurt. You know, I mean, that kid's a really good player. And, you know, the quarterback uh, had a really good game. And they've got speed. And they've got size. And they've, got, they've got what you want. Facility. they got they got a lot, you know. If you were, you mentioned the, the quarterbacks. The talk up here all week was Adams or Lockie. Who was going to play? Did that affect your no. preparation at all for this game? No, not at all. Because they're going to run their system. 
they're going to run their system. They're not going to change for anybody. I'm sure that there's certain things that Lockie does better uh, than Adams, and Adams does better than Lockie. So I'm sure they played their strengths, but it's within their system. So we weren't we weren't surprised with anything. I mean, it didn't matter, you know. See, for us, it's now about us. You know, if we come out and we execute, we do take care of the ball, and we do what we need to do, then we shouldn't lose a game from here on out. And we proved that we could, you know, you saw us at points in this game where when we were doing things the right way, we were toe-to-toe. -to -toe. We were toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And, you know, we got to the point where we were in the fourth quarter with a chance to close the gap and make it a very, very interesting game. Then you never know what happens. And, you know, big turnover, and then it makes it look worse than it really is. So that's kind of the takeaway for you? You know, even at the loss, listen, you eliminate those turnovers, you eliminate some mistakes, and this is a pretty good game for you guys? Well, I'm not going to say any loss is not a good game to us. I'm not. There are no moral victories for Georgia State. You know, we're, we're at the point now where we expect to execute and play and take care of the ball. So, but anytime.